Hello and welcome to MATLAB Tricks. Today we are going to correlate two time series. One is which is a uh, group of pine with the, and the other one is the growth of birch. So we are going to open a script and um, load the data. Load, let's see what the name was. Pine underscore birch. Pine. Huh, can't spell. Dot text is text file. And when we save this in in the the same folder where we have the data. We call it running correlation. When we save this in the same folder wha where we have the data, it will find the data. Otherwise, we have to specify it in some using some other methods. But when we run this, it should find it, the data. It changed the folder, so that will become the active folder, and that's why it finds it. Oh my god, it, it didn't. <laughs> I, skip, I wrote pins. Now it found it. So here we have the data. Let's take a look at it. And we have uh, years and followed by the growth of pine and the growth of birch in some weird unit. Let's see. We have so we can start with uh, maybe plotting the. Oh, you know what we can do to make it really clear? Let's uh, break up this the data in the in the three uh, what it exists of. Like the first, so like birch would be fine. So I'm doing birch, and um, it would be the second column. So. You know, let's take a look at it again. So, if you type, you see how long it is. It's 131. We don't need to know that, but if we do a one colon 131 and uh, followed by two as the second column, it will give us. It will become the second column. Birch will become only that data. But since it's the entire column, we actually don't have to write 1 to 131. We can just run colon like that. So let's do the same with uh, with. Uh, sorry, I think this is Birch is the third. Anyway, and uh, pine <laughs> again would be pine. Oh my God, Birch. And the second column. And let's do one for the years also. We can copy this. So I don't spell wrong all the time. So. And um, let's say we want to plot it first. We simply plot years. Fine. And uh, years for birch like that. Oh, looks good. Okay, so if we want to correlate everything, we all we need to do is actually to write uh, call pine credible birch. I bet birch is wrong spelled too. <laughs> if we only want to run that raw, we can highlight it and press F9. Couldn't we? Can't we? Yes, we. No, we can't. Yes, we can. And uh, we have a very small positive correlation. But let's do something slightly more complicated and do a running correlation. 
um, then we will correlate the first let's say 30 year or something like that and the next time we will correlate year 2 to 31 and, uh, and so on year by year and see how the correlation change over time so let's create the um, window length first of uh, let's say 30 years everything you write over uh, after percentage will be green green and you will uh, you can write whatever you want there it w will not be read by the um, script or incorporated into the script window length like that and for well, let's say L equal to length. I can take any of the vectors, they are the same length. Yes. And uh, for uh, to the length of the vector minus the window length. So we could. Uh, type R for correlation and type cor I think it's like Pearson correlation by default otherwise I'm sure there's other option for that so let's say birch and uh, well the f this will be a for loop which will run from n to l minus window length and the first time n is 1, and we take 1, 2, on n plus window length. And so in the first time this will be 1 to 31, the second time it will be 2 to 32, <laughs> and so forth. I, I am hopeless. And two plus real so and the first will be n and then we run it like that okay to suppress out print and we have our data let's make a new figure and uh, plot r okay if you want to change the window length you can do it so you want 20 year another thing which is common is um, to uh, detrend maybe before so let's say we want to make some kind of linear detrending here you can actually only write like this and it will only look at uh, annual variation and not the slope of the trend or something let's see how that looks like a little bit different okay that's all for now Thank you for watching.